stay tuned until the end to see what I look like now that I'm a blondie. Okay, bye. I won't let you out my sight. Cause then I would have no light. And someone else would find your beauty new. In my high. Walking up in mine, me in yours and me in mine. I think that you know. Yeah, Hello, people, and welcome back to another video. I'm doing my makeup here while I'm starting this vlog. Like the actual talking portion but we have a lot to do this week before i leave to rovaniemi i'm trying to sell my camera today and enjoying the weather because it's absolutely stunning weather i'm also thinking whether or not i should put a mask when i go to the center because i'm city center because i'm um selling my camera to this like camera firm because the situation here in Finland is not very bad right now. Like, um, we just got a the government to send out like a recommendation to use masks in public transport and in other public places where you can't avoid like close contact. But since I know that I can be avoiding close contact because I'm walking to the city center and I'm not going like near people, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, all those finished reading find me finally it's taking me forever uh, but I really liked it I need to buy a bigger memory card but anyway I finally finished reading that so I'm gonna start a new book next I'm actually both gonna read the highly sensitive person from my mom um, in Finnish but since we already have it I'm not gonna bother getting it in English now and then uh, I'm gonna start a book by John Grisham that I've gotten like a few Christmases ago from my grandfather and I've always I've wanted to read it ever since I just haven't had the time so to say but now let's start doing stuff that I actually need to do so for today's outfit I wore this blue dress which is absolutely lovely paired up with these heels which usually kill me but today they didn't and they look fantastic so <laughs> worth the pain not really and these moon earrings So I just came home and I didn't get my camera store because I went to the first camera store without calling them and I was just like, hey, do you buy cameras? Like I bought a camera from you for a while ago. Can I sell my old camera? They were like, no, sorry, we don't buy a camera. So I was like, okay, do you have like, a place you could recommend? And they told me a place and they gave me a, the address, which, and it's actually pretty close to where my parents live. So I was like, okay, like, let me take the tram there and then I'll walk home. So I already bought my tram ticket and I already put on a mask and I was like, okay, let me go. Then I'm in the tram, like, okay, let me check if it's open uh, and it's not. Hmm. Plot twist. It opens tomorrow or it's open from Wednesday until Friday. So I'm gonna try tomorrow again. Hopefully they will take my camera. Also I wanted to show that my plant is making seven new babies probably because the pot in which it is is way too small. I'm gonna replant it once I get to it all on I just wanna don't wanna do it right now. So here is a mini haul of all the things I got. First of all, I got the not not coffee coffee. Uh, because they don't have this in Trovaniemi or they might have like this big supermarket but I didn't want to take the risk so I'm taking my coffee from here 
Then I bought some, and I got another one for my mom. I bought some rice protein so that I can put in my morning smoothie. It's the one we've had at home, and it's vegan and gluten-free and 100% additive-free, and it's organic. Because we stand a good organic protein powder and then I bought a 32 gigabytes memory card because I currently have only two eight gigabytes cards which usually are work perfectly fine I just have to empty my camera a lot like like right now like I'm using my second card and it's probably gonna be full any minute soon and then they had my favorite chocolate on sale this Tony's Chocoloni pecan coconut this is delicious and it's I think it's vegan at least it's milk free and organic and whatever but it's a uh, delicious Dutch Dutch chocolate thank you the Netherlands I think this is from the Netherlands right I mean I suppose so at least my friend from the Netherlands hello Hannah knows about these so perfect that's it <laughs> literally <laughs> I didn't go there to buy I wanted to sell my camera which was the only thing I couldn't do but I'm gonna do that tomorrow You'll see. Everybody. I feel the urgent need to speak in a soft voice because this music is very calming. I hope that you are doing well. I was very tired this morning because I had to work and it's approximately 7.15 right now. My work started at 8, not too early. Anyway, it was my last shift so I got sunflowers as a departing gift from the florist next to the cafe. That was so nice. Then I met up with my friend and we went photo shooting and here are some of the results. exhausted when I came home because I had such a long day but I still packed most of my clothes into my suitcase. I found this very therapeutic and here's the finished result. Hello folks, it is now almost 11 p.m. and I'm going to bed because I am tired as freak. Um, I'm meeting another friend tomorrow at 10.45. Exhausted and ready for bed, so I'm heading to sleep right now and hope that I'm gonna sleep like a rock. I'm happy that I don't have an alarm tomorrow, but I have one set at nine. But I should wake up by then by myself, anyway. So today has been a very nice day, and uh, tomorrow continues. I'm gonna have to try and sell my camera tomorrow and pack, but I packed more today than I thought I was gonna. I've packed almost all my clothes and now I have just like knickknacks that I need to pack. I have like a few few things that I can only pack like the day before I'm gonna leave so this fly is suicidal, it's trying to get into my mouth. Alright, see you tomorrow.
Good morning, everybody. Today I saw my friend in the morning and I decided to wear my heels. And it was a huge mistake because uh, my feet were dying the whole time. You can't see here, but I'm in pain. At least it was a cute butterfly and it was nice to see my friend. Hi, my headphones are a mess and I'm not bothered to untangle them. I hope that you can hear me over this horrific whatever is going on in the background. Um, my feet are so sore that I would not walk eight, 500 miles just to see you. I would never do that in these shoes. I don't understand why half the time these kill me and half the time these are great. I literally just wanted to look nice when I went to the city center and instead I feel like I have chronic pain and I'm an 85 year old. Nothing against 85 year olds, just meaning that I'm in a lot of pain. After switching up to a lot more comfortable shoes, I went to sell my camera and took this cute photo. Good morning everybody! Here I'm pretending to be sophisticated while reading the newspaper. Here is 3 hours and 3 seconds of the hairdressers, which brings us to the new blonde me. This turned out, I think, a little too blonde, but um, I'm gonna talk about that later. Anyway, then I saw my friend, hello! And we went to lunch and saw this adorable um, new thrift store, although it was rather expensive, but let's not talk about that. I've literally killed 50 fruit flies and I can still see at least five of them right here. Like, are you serious? Like, is this some kind of karmic joke that I, because I've been killing them, now they suddenly infest my room? Jesus. And I don't even get it because, like, there's nothing here that could attract them. Like, I had chocolate, yeah, but it wasn't, like, they like humid and, um, sweet things. And I only have, like, plants and they're not even, like, tropical plants. Like, yeah, the mall. M mall? The pot that they're in. The fertilizer obviously is like wet because I water my plants but um, I have sunflowers in the room next door which attract should attract them a lot more. There were a lot of fruit flies there so I don't get why they're in my room. Okay? Why can't you stay in the kitchen or freaking outside like you're supposed to? Jesus! I can see four more. Anyway, here is my blonde hair. That's what it looks like. It turned out a bit too blonde in my opinion. I wanted, like, I kind of the color that I wanted was the one I already started off with. So it was hard to, you know, reciprocate that color. Or I realized that, like, afterwards. And she also told me that the bleach reacted like really well with my hair, so my hair got like a lot bleached. Yeah, she bleached it and then we colored it, like we chose the color together. But it's a bit too orangey in my taste, like it goes well with my eyes obviously, but um, I wanted it to be a bit more like golden than what it is now, a tiny bit darker. So I'm probably gonna tone it myself and make it a bit darker if I can. But otherwise it's kind of fun. I have like Emma Chamberlain vibes for some reason. But let me know what you guys think. We made this my morning smoothie as usual. But look at this color, honey. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. I was supposed to add cow powder, but cow powder, but forgot. This looks this looks like so good. So good. Mwah. Hi, so I've had my breakfast. I changed to somewhat decent clothes. It's raining outside and we were supposed to go watch the sunset and play mini golf with my boyfriend today. So uh, that's not gonna happen. But I'm gonna pack, finish packing today because I'm leaving tomorrow to my summer cottage and then I'm one day to Rovaniemi. I'm gonna make my bed and finish packing whatever I have to pack, like some random papers and things like that. So, mm. so 
I don't know what I think about my hair, but I like it now more than when it's straight than yesterday when it was curled. Hi everyone, I didn't vlog much today because honestly I was only packing and then my boyfriend came over for a few hours so I wanted to just chill with him but I've basically finished packing everything like the only things I still need to pack tomorrow are my plants and my hygiene stuff like my toothbrush, you know, face wash stuff which I can't pack now because I still need them in the morning but apart from that I'm done and we're leaving tomorrow to the summer cottage and then on Monday to Rovaniemi so that's kind of crazy Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm not even nostalgic, I'm not the nostalgic, I'm honestly just excited about getting back to the apartment. Why are my eye bags literally this huge? Anyway, um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below, honestly, what you think about this hair, because I still don't have an opinion about it. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed, and uh, don't forget to subscribe for more quality content. <laughs> there are probably going to be more university content now that I'm going back to university. And I'm also going to try to make some videos in French and Spanish, because there has not been enough trilingual content on this channel. I can make somewhat coherent sentences nowadays in English, and don't make that many mistakes, although I did call cacao powder cow powder in this video. I don't know how I managed to do that. I will see you next Monday in my next video. Until then, stay tuned and click that notification bell to be notified whenever I post in your time because it's 6 p.m. my time, but I have no idea what that is in your time, so click the bell so that you'll know. Okay, I'll see you then. Toodles!